Sunday breakfast again. Um, there's stuff going on, so I'm going to try and focus. Um, yeah, anyway, hello. So, um, I, it's been a little while since I've done a Sunday breakfast. It's all timey-wimey. This is a couple of days later for me because I'm talking about the same stuff. Whereas for you guys, it's going to be a little bit of a break. So I hope all the Sunday breakfasts you've watched since have been really good and helpful. Um, yeah, because this is a continuation, it still works as its own Sunday breakfast. But if you want, you can watch the previous Sunday breakfast that I did if you haven't yet watched it. And the link will be in the description. Um, so yes, anyway, being still, being still is a really, really good thing, as I alluded to earlier on. Earlier on, I was basically telling you to be still, um, or, or to, to take some of that advice and, and find the opportunity to be still. Uh, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we can be still and sort of ground this a little bit more in what the Bible says. So, looking at my notes... Yes, I'm going to read a bunch of Bible verses out and they'll um, hopefully should all also appear on the screen. If not, it'll just be what the verse is. They'll also all be in the description down below. Okay, Zechariah 2 verse 13. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Psalm 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be honoured by every nation. Exodus verse 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you while you keep still. This is a different translation to the one I know. The Lord will fight for you, you need to only be still. Um, Habakkuk, I hope I said that right. 2 verse 20. The Lord is in his holy temple, all the earth. Be quiet in his presence. 1 Samuel 12 verse 16 Now then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do before your eyes. Be still. Stand still. Watch God. Be in his presence. Be present in the moment. Um, when the Bible says something, if it repeats it, you go, okay, that's important. If it repeats it again, it's like, oh, okay. It's like, um, don't be afraid. That's the most repeated command in the Bible is do not be afraid. Do not be fearful. Do not be worried, etc., etc., etc. These are just some Bible verses telling us to be still. And regardless, if it just says it once, it's important because it's in the Bible. Because the Bible is an amazing book. The Bible is God's written word. It's his spoken word. With Holy Spirit, it's his living word it's good and if you're like oh bible don't really mm, that's okay i get it i completely get it the bible can be really really daunting um if you have any questions about reading the bible do contact us at the well and um we'd love to help you out because we are specifically i am i mean i'm sure we all are but i can't i don't want to talk on behalf of other people but for myself just the Bible, such a good book. Um, but yes, how can so this is telling us to be still. About so, so the Bible was written two thousand ish years ago. How can we be still in the twenty first century when we have our phones constantly next to us? I should have put this on silent before I started this. Oh, there we go. Um, we constantly have our phones next to us, notifications paying at us, someone constantly in the room next door, that is currently the case for me, and there's a glass wall, so I'm keeping my focus, being present in the moment, trying to say good stuff in front of the camera. Um, yeah, how can we be still? Um, I'm gonna fire off a couple of suggestions about slowing down and then also an option for being still. And then later on, we might even be still. So yes, um, slowing down. I suggest you can go for a walk, you can take time away from your phone, you can do some painting, you can read a book, um, you can uh, do a board game or a card game with family and friends. It is now legal to be outside, the rule of six is back. Um, so if it's not a windy day or whatever, you can do that outside. Um, 
just take time to be in the present. Um, there's a mindset change that also um, I find has to happen for me personally, and that is not thinking about the next day, not thinking about the next restriction easing, um, not thinking about what I'm doing tomorrow, but going, no, I'm here now, and spending that time in the now. So being present really, really helps us to be still. Sometimes when we think about being still, we think about a really quiet lake in the mountains with some pine trees, maybe a bird singing in the distance and some fish in, in said lake. Um, or, or a beach quiet or um, rush hour, or no, not rush hour, just before rush hour whilst everyone's asleep. We, I personally often think of being still or stillness as that. However, I'm not talking about that kind of still. It's a beautiful still, but I'm talking about the stillness that we can find in God, the stillness that we can find in ourselves. God is with us. God is in us, thanks to Jesus dying on the cross. I'm about to just have Easter. You guys, I think, will probably had Easter. But yeah, finding the stillness in ourselves and carrying that through into life is, again, so much easier said than done. But when we do it, we as a, when whoever does it, um, I'm sure can say that something shifts um, and heart alignment with God can, can happen and our eyes can be opened up to what God has for us in so many different ways. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so I've spoken a bit about Bible being, the Bible telling us to be still, slowing down ideas, going for a walk, just being in the present. And now I want us to be still. So what I'm going to do is set, not a timer, but, well I think a timer, but I'll just have the alarm off so you guys don't hear it because it can be a bit jarring, for 30 seconds. I'm going to stop talking, there'll be some images on the screen and I just really encourage you guys to engage in this, not see this as an option to, oh it's going to be quiet for a bit, I'll just skip, or um, look, at, look at Instagram or Snapchat. Um, I just encourage you to just take a moment and just be still. There will be some twinkly twinkly strummy strummy stuff in the background. Um, but yes, so I'm going to set a timer on my phone. Okay. And in this 30 seconds, just let your mind do what your mind does. You can think about what you want to think about. You can just let your mind just sit with itself. You don't have to busy yourself with looking at stuff or fidgeting. I mean, if you want to fidget, you're welcome to. I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you. Do what you do. Like, or do what suits you. Um, yeah, just have those 30 seconds as a moment to just let thoughts into your mind, acknowledge them and move on. I will see you guys in 30... Well, I'll see a camera again in 30 seconds. You'll see me in 30 seconds. seconds. How was that? 30 seconds. Okay, now I want to challenge you um, and do another 30 seconds um, and see how you guys hear God. It might be an image, it might be a bit from a Bible verse, um, it might be, it, yeah, it might be an image, Bible verse, memory, whatever. Um, just how do you think? Or, or no, just 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 see what God says. And He might not say anything. Um, sometimes words aren't necessarily suitable for a situation. Or not that they're not suitable. Sometimes we just don't have the words to say things. Um, I can feel like that if I've got a bunch of emotions or whatever, and then I just I can't. I don't have the words. Sometimes I just explain. Ex, ex, exclaim words 
um, sometimes if I just don't know what's going in my going on in my head and I don't know how to say it, I draw a picture. God might do a similar thing, but for how we receive stuff, He has the words. He has the Bible. He also has a plethora of other words for us that we can tap into. And we can do this when we're being still. We can have this intentional time. Something that someone said to me a couple of months ago, and it's stuck with me since, is that intimacy can't be downloaded. It can only be developed through intentional time spent. I'm gonna say that again because, yeah. Intimacy can't be downloaded. It can only be developed through intentional time spent. This being still time, is intentional time with God. It's an intentional time with ourselves, with the Holy Spirit in us, taking that moment to go, I'm going to let go of everything in the moment. I'm going to surrender what's in front of me, take off the bag off my back, take off the burden and put it at the foot of the cross and just be there. And just being there can do just God will do what he will do um, and that's different for everyone it may be there may be similarities but ultimately it's different for everyone so I'm going to do another 30 seconds and I want you guys to just be still and see what God wants to do with you in those moments and again there'll be twinkly twinkly strummy strummy in the background and there will be um what will there be images on the picture so um yeah and again if a thought pops into your mind that isn't with the way you, where you're not being still where your internal dialogue or monologue keeps on talking or um however you think if that continuously is there noise if there is continuous noise that's okay this can be a really hard thing um but yeah another 30 seconds Okay, that wasn't 30 seconds. It was a white lie, although lying is lying. It was 40 seconds. I wanted to push you guys to see, to see, or not because I can't see, I'm just looking at a camera. It's very bizarre. Um, for you guys to just be still and press into that moment. Um, and I really encourage you guys um, to journal what you, what, what you thought what you think God was saying to you, process this with um, a good friend, or if you want, you can contact um, any of us, the youth team um, at The Well, and we can just talk things through. We also have mentoring, so if you want, you can tap into that, um, and we can do this. Um, I encourage you guys to also do this more often in your own moments. Sometimes it can be really, really difficult. There can be um, noises constantly, there's family, there can be younger siblings running around, older siblings just being annoying. I can say that because I have an older sibling. Um, <laughs> there could be a pet, there could be a cat meowing for food, there could be a dog barking for attention. It can be really difficult, which is why I mentioned being still and slowing down. Because if being still is really, really hard for you, slowing down is still a good thing. And again, if being still is really hard for you. There are some Bible verses um, that t that tap into this. So, so these Bible verses, uh, if if the noise around you, the noise in your head is just too much, it's okay because Jesus quietened the storm, quieted, quietened, told the, told the storm to be still. So I'm going to read you two Bible verses. Um, and this is still applicable for you and me today. Despite this, despite one of these examples being a literal storm of weather, we can have storms in our life. 
Um, so I'll read these out. And as I read them out, you can pray that prayer. You can you can use these words to pray a prayer in your heart to say, life is just so crazy at the moment. My mind is constantly on the go. Ah, I want a moment of, of quietness. I want a moment to process. I want a moment to journal. I want a moment to just be. Um, or you don't know if you want that moment. And you go, what, what, is, what is all the hype about this? I, I don't get it. I can't tap into this. Um, you can pray the, this prayer with the words I'm about to read. Um, and see, yeah. And I'll, I'll, yes, I'll quickly pray now as well. Um, no, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll see where Holy Spirit takes me with this ramble. But, um... mind blank I don't know where I was going oh these Bible verses <laughs> he got up rebuked the wind and said to the waves quiet be still then the wind died down and it was completely calm they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he brought them out of, dis of their distress he stilled the storm to, whis to a whisper the waves of the sea were hushed. Lord, I pray that the waves of the sea and the storm of people's lives and their minds to be quiet or to have a moment of stillness. I pray that in these times, your voice can be heard more clearly. Your voice is always, always speaking. You are always, always there. And I pray that in these quiet moments, we take the opportunity to hear what you have to say, to feel what you want us to feel. Yeah. Amen. Prayer is a powerful thing, and with God, all things are possible through like all things that are within his will is possible um so yes that's essentially what i wanted to say um there is a really good song called be still there are loads of good songs called be still i'll put a couple um that i find really helpful in the uh, description down below um yes have a lovely lovely whenever you're watching this god bless and um yeah. Yeah, just God bless. God bless. <laughs>